Okay, I'm going to mark this comment that I'm about to give in the record books as things I never thought I would say in my entire life. But McConaughey can act, and he deserves an Oscar nomination. That wasn't so hard. Dallas Buyers Club examines a period in our history that is often glossed over or is just shied away from, often avoided entirely. And, and this is, of course, the 1980s where the AIDS epidemic was becoming a very serious threat to a lot of people. And I appreciate the fact that this film was determined to show um, what it was really like in a very gritty light. It doesn't shy away from a lot of the things that were major struggles for a lot of people. Um, you know, it doesn't shy away from seeing the seriousness of AIDS, the symptoms, um, what these characters had to go through in order to just get drugs to save their lives. So a lot of that was very interesting. This movie definitely was not made by amateurs. It has a very nice zippy pace to it. Uh, there's beautiful flow in it. You're never bored. You're constantly um, wanting to know what happens with these characters and you're interested in the way that the plot unfolds. But that being said, I... I wasn't wowed by it. I mean, it was good, it just wasn't great. There's a lot of conventional uh, devices used in this film. I mean, you've got Matthew McConaughey, who is the protagonist, and he is confronted with, of course, the worst of circumstances, something that he never in his life thought he would be confronted with. And the forces are against him, but, you know, he fights for his life, as well as the life of many other peoples who are HIV positive. And there's nothing wrong with that idea. I just wish there had been more originality and less stereotypical plot devices. I mean, you've got, you know, the hick rednecks who he thought were his friends, but when they find out that he has AIDS, you know, uh, they're like, you know, we don't want your kind around, and so he's shunned from social conformity. Of course, he has to constantly be confronted with these characters to see how he's grown. And, you know, there were some symbols in this movie, or I should say imagery, symbolism, that I found to be a little contrived. There's a uh, one that keeps popping up constantly of a sad clown, and maybe I'm just very tired of the sad clown um, or what it conveys in a lot of films and, and just just art in general, but I, I just thought it was just, it didn't work for me. It was just too contrived. And I'm not saying that these things didn't happen. You know, maybe the real, or the person that McConaughey was portraying really did have uh, was shunned from social conformity, you know, from all of these characters, from all these people that he thought were his friends. But I just, I found it to be just very one note and something that I've seen over and over without much uh, depth to it. And I think the film in general is just very plot driven and it's less about character development. There are very good characters here. I just didn't get to see them explored in the way that I wish they had been. And that's just maybe my personal taste. You know, there are some people that are plot people, some people are character to people. I am definitely a character person, but this movie has fantastic performances. McConaughey gives, I mean, one of the best performances I think he's ever given. And this guy is, I mean, he is on a roll. I mean, the last couple years, he's just been in great performance after great performance, interesting movies that are really pushing him to do better and to do interesting work and show that he actually does have talent. Uh, for once, he's not portraying the shallow, shirtless pretty boy that he's done so often in the past. And I think this is the result of him just becoming older and roughened around the edges, I guess you could say. And in this performance, he is able to capture that tough, thick-skinned quality, but while also showing the vulnerability and the humor and the charm, he's able to capture all those things in such a naturalistic uh, way. And all of this, I think, is just coming from his maturity, not only as an actor, but as a person. Uh, maybe this stems from the fact that he is getting older and he cannot pull off those young, pretty boy shirtless roles anymore. Or maybe it's the fact that he's had kids and it's humbled him or changed his outlook on life. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it is working and he needs to keep it up. Bravo, Matthew. Jared Leto also, I, I have to mention him. He is fascinating in this role. I have had a crush on this man ever since I was a young girl, but then again, what girl does not have a crush on him? He is a very, very good looking man. Um, but this guy has chops. He is talented. Every single film I have ever seen him in, he's blown me away. And in this one, he plays a transvestite, yet I still found him sexy. Is that weird? 
his physical transformation is absolutely astounding. I mean, Jared, he is great at being a woman. He's a better woman than I am. Like, I actually want to go up to him and ask him for lessons. He's that good. <laughs> but it's not just the physical transformation, it's the tragic nature of the character that struck a chord with me. And the character is just so unhappy and insecure and it's just plummeting uh, physically and mentally. And the way that uh, Leto captures that essence to me was just one of the things I found most exciting in the film. And again, I just, I wanted to see more of it. And that's my one complaint uh, about the performances. Of course, this is not their fault. They give wonderful performances, McConaughey and, and Leto and even Jennifer Garner, all wonderful performances. But I wanted to see more. And that's more, I think, at fault for the writers. Um, I wanted to tap more into their psychology. I wanted to see, particularly with the main two characters, McConaughey and Leto, I wanted to see how these two unlikely characters kind of came together. I mean, you do see their chemistry and you do see, you know, some of the insecurities that they have, uh, the differences between the two, the reservations and the insecurities they may have had about each other. But it's it's sort of glossed over because, again, I say this, this film kind of has a zippy pace to it and it is more plot driven. But I, I wanted to see the way that the chemistry and the way that the relationship built more. Um, but overall, I mean, it's, it's a very enjoyable movie. It's just, I think it could have gone a lot further with originality and with depth, but it is definitely worth it just to see fantastic performances. That's my review. Uh, tell me what you thought about it. Uh, you can comment below and also follow me on Twitter. The link is below. And thank you all for listening.